Alright guys, so this is going to be a quick overview of the Hollow Sun 515CU red dot sight. This is a pretty nice red dot sight made by Hollow Sun. comes in this packaging right here. This is their new packaging. They used to have a slightly different packaging. Here is your user manual. There's the sight right there. A couple tools to adjust your sight. Extra battery tray right here. Another tool to adjust your sight as far as to be able to remove the battery tray and work on these little screws right here. So here's the sight. This one has the quick detach mount. And there's your battery tray right there. Elevation and windage adjustments right here. They also do have the little tool right there as far as on the cab to be able to adjust it. And they also are protected by the 6061 aluminum body as far as the turrets so it's pretty easy to remove these caps you also have your solar panel at the top to power the red dot if you don't run your battery so here is how positive the adjustments are on this side listen to this pretty good adjustments so real fast, let's go over some of the other features of this red dot sight. You do have flip down scope covers right here. And you do have a kill flash in the front. So that's nice. So you have quite a few features in this red dot sight. And you can see it's solar powered right now. So if I cover up the uh, solar powered unit, you can't see the reticle. And you can see it if I don't cover it. It's a pretty nice red dot sight for the money. Here is your quick detach mount right here. So how you're going to use this is you're just going to press this little locking latch right here and flip the lever and that opens up the quick detach assembly. And then from there you can just press this through and loosen it with the tool on the other side as far as how tight the mount is. We're going to get this mounted up on the CBC Industries complete upper. But first I'm going to have to install the battery into this battery tray right here. And to do that it's pretty simple. You just use this little tool that comes with the Hollow Sun Optics and pull out the battery tray right there. And then you put your battery in there. The Hollow Sun Optics do come with a little cleaning cloth to clean the lenses with. And you do get a battery, a 2032 cell battery, which will be in your spare tray right here. So as you see right now, it is running on solar mode right now, the reticle. And when I install the battery, I'm going to swap it over. So how you install the battery is the positive side down in the battery tray, and the negative side up, and it just clicks in, like so. So regarding this Holosun 515CU, you're going to have to adjust the mount right here with the provided Allen wrench tool as far as to be able to adjust the tightness of the quick detach mount to your Picatinny rail section. So I've just adjusted this and now I'm going to attach it to the rifle. So once you've properly adjusted the mount with your included Allen key which has a torque set, you're just going to line it up with your Picatinny rail, the mount, and make sure that the uh, opposite end which is the fixed end lines up first with the rail where you want it. So when you get it lined up here after you've properly adjusted it to your Picatinny rail, you're going to push it as far forward into the lug of the Picatinny rail as you can. You're going to throw your quick detach lever into the lockdown position. Right there. So we mounted this side after we got it in on the CBC Industries Bear Claw Upper. This red dot was fantastic. We had no problems with it whatsoever. This red dot has a very nice crisp 2 MOA dot or a secondary reticle option like an EOTech has with a 65 MOA ring around a 2 MOA dot.
The sight has nice clear glass and a 20 millimeter objective lens. So the sight has a good wide field of view as you're looking through it. So let's talk about the features on this red dot sight. One of the main features of this red dot sight is that it does have a solar panel on the top of the red dot sight. And that means that you can either run this red dot sight off of the battery, which is right there as mentioned before, or via the solar panel. So it's on solar power right now. You can see the reticle right now because it's not in focus. But if I cover the solar panel, you see that it disappears. So that's running off the solar panel right now. Kind of funny to see it just disappear like that. So I like that you can run it without a battery, you know? Which means it's still good to go. Let's say your battery went 10-7. Yeah, you're right out the range or while you're using this red dot, you know, in combat or whatever. If it was during daylight hours, you'd still have a workable sight system there. Which is fantastic. It's a huge plus. Now, obviously, one of the disadvantages is, you know, if your battery is dead and you're having to run it off solar power and you're shooting from a dark environment out into a heavily lit environment, you know, just like the ACOX, your reticle is not going to be as bright, you know, if you're shooting out into a well-lit area from a shaded area. That's correct. So, you know, it's just like the problems with the fiber optics on the ACOX. Yeah. So the solar part of it has to do with understanding your equipment, you know. The guys in the military understood their equipment and if they were not getting a bunch of sun on their optic, it wasn't going to be well lit. This is the same type of thing, guys. This Holosun does come with lens covers. This one we've gone ahead and removed to show you that they are removable. They work quite well. They fold down and out of the way. So it's always good to have lens covers on it to be able to protect your glass when you're not using it. We just decided to remove the front to remove one more step from if you have to put this into immediate action. and. Plus, you do have your kill flash installed on that side of the optic. So, I'm not worried about the lens getting scratched or anything on that side. PMAC 20 rounder. Alright guys, so let's go over the function of this red dot sight. To turn the red dot sight on to manual, what you're going to do is you're going to press and hold the plus button, which you see right here on the right. Right now it's on solar power, so I'm pressing and holding the plus button, and it's going to swab. You're going to see it blink. So you just saw it blink, and now it's got the 2 MOA dot, although it's out of focus on the camera. And that's vice versa as far as you press and hold the plus button to change it back to solar power mode. For manual mode, you can either go up or down in brightness via the plus and minus button on the side of the optic there. To turn this side off, it's very simple. You just press both brightness buttons at the same time. And that turns off your red dot side if it's not on solar mode. So if it's on manual, that's how you turn it off. When it's in manual mode, to change your reticle from the 2 MOA dot to the 65 MOA circle around the dot, EOTech style reticle, you just press and hold the minus button, as mentioned before. So you can see it changed. Although it wasn't in focus on the camera, but I showed you guys the reticle earlier. It's very nice. So on manual mode, you guys, um, the battery life is around 50,000 hours, which is fantastic. And this red dot does have 12 brightness settings. So guys, it depends on what brightness setting you have on your optic to see how many hours of life the battery is going to last. Regardless of the fact, even if you have it up much higher and it lasts 10,000 or 12,000 hours, that's still a lot of time. Yeah. And obviously, you know, the good thing about this one is you do have two different options, a manual using the battery or the solar power. Correct. The solar panel. So guys, this quick detach mount is very solid and secure. You can see it on this side right here. This does have a lower one-third co-witness. So guys, some of the features I like about this site is that it's waterproof, shockproof, and fogproof. And it is O-ring sealed. So when you have it on your rifle, no matter what the conditions are you're going into, your sight should be good to go, which is, you know, it's a must. You got to have that kind of characteristics in your sight when you're taking it into who knows what kind of situation.
So guys, if you want to purchase this Red Dot site, click on the Buy Here link in the description box below this video. It'll lead you right to the product on OpticsPlanet.com. It's for sale over there for less than $300. Last time we checked was $258, and prices, are, of course, are always subject to change. But if you do pick up this site over there, make sure you enter our discount code of B9USA and save 5% off your entire order. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and if you are interested in this Red Dot site or anything else available from Holosun, go ahead and check out their products and website via the links in the description box below this video. Anyways, that's it for this one, everyone. Thanks for watching, and remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, Brett and I Millimeter USA, for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future. And if you're interested in supporting our channel, please check out our Patreon page so we can keep the content rolling and more videos coming.